Okay guys, I'm Dave Austin, welcome to the channel. Okay, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna chase some yellowtail. I'm um, using beef mince and just the orange eggy head right over there. Um, the water's pretty murky, if you can see over there, we've got some water draining out. We do have some water discoloration, shouldn't be a problem. We're gonna to try to get some yellowtail for some fresh baits. We're gonna cut them up and um, we're gonna chase some snapper with them tomorrow. So. Uh, we're not keeping them alive or anything. We're just stocking up a bait for tomorrow's session, hopefully chasing some snappers. So I'll set the camera up and I'll show you guys what we're doing. All right, let's go. That's basically the setup right there that we're running. Bit of beef mince that we got from Coles. Okay, we basically put on the hook like this. It's important to keep the mince cold if you haven't got any ice. Um, go and get some ice because once this mince warms up, it's very hard to keep on the hook. It's hard to keep on the hook at best of times. So that's the bait just there like that. All right, let's try. And we also chuck, we keep chucking some of this stuff out just to keep them around. Let's go. There we go. Oh, we're on. And that's a... Oh, we just dropped a leather jacket. <laughs> we're not really... We're not really targeting the leather jacket. Try again. Just drop them down. You don't normally get um get those leather jacket off using bins. We just wait in there. Let it have a little bit more line. Touch there. Keep boiling up with the mint. Right. Oh, yeah, the leather jacket are out in force. They're out in numbers. Probably get a few more yakas around. They got it. And baited. Try again. We've got something good there. Whoa. Oh wow, leather jacket on mince. Okay. Not really the target species. Chasing yellowtail. <laughs> wow. Decent size uh, leather jacket, isn't it? Look at those choppers. Ooh, look at the teeth. Okay. It's not really the target species, but. Let's keep trying. We're going again. All right, we've got something touching it. Those leather jacket, damn. It's very important to keep that mince cold. Going again. A 
Looks like another leather jacket. Well, that's three. Another leather jacket. Wow. That's four. Most I've seen four. Huh? That's the most I've seen four. No, no yellow tail yet. Might as well call this, uh, call this video how to catch leather jacket on mints. Very, very strange. Yeah, I always see them in that, that corner there. Ooh. First time I've caught them on mints though. What do they usually? Just prawns. The prawns, if you just peel a bit of prawn and put a small hook on straight down, you'll, you'll clean up on them. They're good eating. I'm just trying to catch some yellowtail for bait so I can, I'm gonna go chase snapper tomorrow. Oh, okay. There's definitely a lot down there, I can feel them just by the way that they bite. Very soft. What's the lens do, mate, for fish eye? Um, that one's just an ND filter. So you can adjust the brightness. Yeah, right. That one there. You can also, I've also got a polarizing one which can cut the glare off the surface of the water. Yeah, so if yeah, you fill. Yeah, so, yeah, it's good to make some good content, make your memories, you can watch them back in 20 years time. Where there's nothing left. <laughs> Just trying to get some bait. Take it easy bro. Okay, so this video is not really going to plan, all I seem to be doing is getting these leather jacket and a couple of undersized brim. No yak as yet, but we'll keep persevering. We'll see how we go. That was a bite. And I don't want to burly up too much because um, it just keeps attracting these, uh, these rubbish fish. Look, we've got a corma in there. It's looking for a feed. A little trumpeter. Still not the target species. I've used these before. They don't seem to work too well for me, but let us know in the comments if you guys have tried f tried these for a mulloway bait. See if they work. Oh no! If we keep getting these, it's not going to be good. Another trumpeter. And a tar wine, another tar wine. Ooh. Off he goes. What's this one now? Another leather jacket. Oh, this one's a different species of leather jacket. This is a Chinaman. Okay, another species of leather jacket, a Chinaman. And these are known as a pest. But 
they're pretty good eating apparently. So nice choppers there. All right, let's let you go, buddy. Off he goes. This is a leather jacket video. Another leather jacket, wow. He's a good size one too. Leather jacket on beef mints, eh? Look at the colours on him. Beautiful. Beautiful colours. The little spines there. That fluorescent blue. Alright, off you go, buddy. Okay, this is what we're after. I turn the camera off and we get we get our target species. Beautiful, let's go. Let's start recording properly again. Okay, so we got our first one. We need about nine more and uh, we should be good. And let's keep trying to avoid these leather jacket. It's gone a bit overcast now. Can we get another one? Oh, something's touching. Oh, yes, they're on. Beautiful. Another yakka. Let's get another one. Here we go. Ah. Oh. The yakka are definitely there. See if we can produce. Oh, they're there. Got him. Oh, no. Damn. They seem to have come around in numbers now. Here we go. Yep. That's what we're after. Number four, it's starting to look like a better video now. I was hoping it wasn't going to be a leather jacket video. <laughs> what did I catch? I think I caught about six or seven, eight maybe. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to have a crack at this? Oh, it's alright. You'll be on YouTube. I'll make you famous. <laughs> What's what was your name? Jack. Jack, that's my son's name. Hang on a sec. I'm just going to say hi to this guy, Jack. Now let me just drop this down. <laughs> just watch your line there. I'm just trying to get this camera up. Jack, how you going, buddy? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, mate. What are you chasing today? I ain't seeing if there's a flathead hanging around or a decent sized brim. A flathead or a decent sized brim? What bait are you using? Uh, trying a bit of squid, a bit of prawns. Okay. What about we catch you a yellowtail and you try a slice of that? See how we go. Yeah, so, have crack. so maybe later in the video you get something we can show how good it works. Can you do that for us? Yeah, let's do it. All right, no worries. I'll get you a yakka and then you can fill it up and see how you go. Easy, thanks. All right, cheers, Jack. All right, let's catch one for Jack now. We'll try to catch Jack a fish so he can have a bait. Let's adjust his camera and let's go. Yeah, this looks like it's one for Jack. There you go, Jack. <laughs> Alright, Jack, that's your fish. Don't let it fall in the water. We'll... Thank you. Alright. I'll be waiting. I'll have the cameras ready to go. As soon as you catch something. <laughs> okay, so that's how we've pinned it on. And Jack's gonna give it a cast now and we're gonna wait and see what happens. Alright, good luck, bro. Strip of yellow tail. Let's see what happens. All right. All right, yep, we're on again. Oh, nearly. We got him. We're on fire now. Yeah, I was hoping that the water would be clearer because I had a camera I was going to put under the water. Yeah, spewing. They're definitely there. They're on fire, these yakas now. 
the idea of it is, hang on, got another one, yep, yeah, beautiful. Two more be plenty for me. Two weeks or a week and a half ago. Well, the kings are there. Well, that's why. Mate. They just, have you never seen that close, so we're just like. Just a sec. Come on. Got him. Yeah, we're on again. They're right on fire now. I'm so glad this wasn't a leather jacket video. Let's go. We only need one more. One more for the fridge, and we got him. So they're a bit small. We need a few more of them. So basically all that we're doing is we're dropping them down, and we're on again. There we go. That's how it's done. This is how it's done. We're not going to completely annihilate the the population down there we'll just get a couple more we're also getting a bit of rain so i'm gonna have to probably wrap it up because we'll get water on the lens you won't be able to see anything Oop, just missed one sorry yeah it looks like the rain's coming in that's a better one okay we're gonna get that camera we're gonna get that camera lens covered now because it's starting to rain so We'll see you in a bit and see where we end up with this video. Okay guys, that's our catch and it's starting to rain. So I think this is a good place to end, to end the video. And what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine yakas. Enough baits for me tomorrow to chase these snapper. And there's people around. <laughs> no worries, I'd like to thank Jack. I don't think we're gonna be able to hang around too long for Jack because I can see some rain coming over in the background around here somewhere. Um, it's going to piss down. I want to get these cameras uh, back to the car. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Chasing yellow tail on beef mints, nice and easy. Most wolves are holding yellow tail. Just go hard. You can they freeze pretty well. And um, yeah, just make sure you keep them cold if you're fishing out on a hot day. You don't want them to die and basically go soft on you. So bring some ice with you in an esky and all should be sweet unless you keep them alive. Let's go. See you later.